plant friends welcome back to my channel planty princess my name is ashley today i have a really amazing hoya unboxing i am super excited to unbox these hoyas i have 12 hoyas in here a few different varieties i think maybe 10 or 11 different varieties i think i only got duplicates of one or two of them um, this is a new company that I heard great things about, so I decided to give it a go, try it out, see how the plants come, and I can't wait. These are some really neat Hoyas that I've been eyeing up for a little bit now, and I'm excited to see what they look like in person. So the company I got these Hoyas from is A.H. Hoya. They are another company that exports plants from... Thailand, I think. I threw the thing away. Uh, I believe Thailand. Either way, one of those countries over there. So I am expecting some amazing plants. This actually came relatively quickly when I've imported plants from Tropics at Home or Asian Plant Export. Not that it took a long time, but it did take at least a week, sometimes 10 days from the date that this shipped, which was like four days ago. There you have it. It like it literally took like four days in the mail, which is not bad at all, considering, you know, it's traveling from across the other side of the world. So far, when you open the box, you have newspaper holding everything in and together. So let's just kind of, so far, we see some leaves in here. And let me get this. And they look good. They look like they're in good condition. I get a little nervous ordering around this time of the year because I've ordered and got plants when it was this hot before and the plants came through literally dead, all mushy. Again, that was from another company because this is my first order with this company. But when I placed this order, the shipping queue time was eight to 10 weeks after placing the order. And it went a little past that time. It went a lot past that time actually. So I had planned to get them before the hot days of the summer actually hit and I'm getting it in the midst of these really hot days. So I was a little bit nervous, but so far it looks like they survived their travels. So without any further ado, let's just get right into the box because I can't wait any longer to see some of these plants. All right, so first we have the Hoya Andalada. It looks simul similar to the Kadada, but is obviously a little bit different. It has a lot more of that intense splash. The edges are a lot more ripply. Now with my Kadada, it's a very thirsty plant I've noticed. Uh, it has relatively thin leaves. This one is somewhat the same. Uh, the leaves are very limp. It's not as succulenty as, you know, other Hoyas are. So I can definitely tell this one is probably also going to be heavy on the water. I definitely need to get her potted up as soon as possible and give her a drink because you can see she's very flimsy. Other than that, though, this plant came through very healthy. So um, I'm extremely excited. I'm going to pop only a couple of these open on camera to kind of see what we're working with with the roots because I've never ordered from this company before. So I definitely want to share this experience as much as possible with you guys. If you are someone who likes to import or is thinking about importing, you kind of know what you're going to get from this company. The sphagnum is pretty dry. It's a little moist in some places, but so we definitely do have somewhat of a root system on there, which is great. It's more than I normally get with other companies. So that's already a big plus. Now this company, uh, their Hoyas are a little more expensive, but again, as you just saw, you're getting more than just two leaves. They sell small cuttings, which I believe this was a small cutting, medium cuttings, large cuttings, um, and the rest, uh, I believe, I believe they're all smalls and mediums. Um, this one is a 
medium it looks like this is one that i've been so excited to get so this is the hoya macrophylla hoya macrophylla bayi bua so this is another variegated form of the macrophylla and as you can see it gets those lime patches where's that leaf here it is in there and I'm gonna uh, think that they get more intense with you know the different amounts of light you give it but this is such a beautiful plant look at this leaf how you have a streak here and a streak down here of that lime just coming through so beautifully and there's a lot of leaves on this one so we'll go ahead I think I got two of these we'll go ahead and open this up check out these roots real quick see what we got going on this one looks like they have a oh my gosh crazy root system look at that that's amazing I am so pleased so far we'll move on here we have another macrophylla Bayibua. that's how you pronounce it Again, this one has two active tendrils, which is awesome. We got some aerial roots coming out there. This this is going to die off, though. It's starting to yellow, but that's okay. And we got a lot of nice, beautiful leaves. Look at that. That is amazing. So gorgeous. That's beautiful, too. I love it. I'm so excited for this plant, and I'm super excited that I got... Uh, very nice looking healthy ones. That was definitely one of the top plants or the main plants that I was looking forward to in this order. Why I went with this company is because they had some plants that I couldn't find anywhere else or that weren't being offered anywhere else. This is another one that I really wanted. Um, now these plants, I don't know when the plant starts with AH. I think they are a variety of the Finland Sonii. But don't quote me on that because I could be totally wrong. I have just saw a few that started with AH that I saw people um, associating with the Finland Sony eyes. So I could be totally wrong on that. Anyways, this is the Hoya AH0734. What attracted me to this one is the elongated pointy shaped leaves with the nice venations in it. And I love this color green on these Hoyas. This one came through very nice. This was a small sized plant. Very beautiful. Ooh, this is another one. Whoa. So I got another AH different. As you can see, they, you know, have some kind of resemblance to each other. But anyways, this one is the Hoya AH029. This is definitely a medium cutting. Um, and look at that large leaf with the gorgeous venations, the splash again with that nice green color and then the darker green for the venations. That's a newer leaf. And then we got a bunch of really nice, gorgeous leaves kind of coming in here. So amazing. I love it. And this one, if you can see from right here, it's maybe easier to tell from the backside. It has those ripply edges as well, just like a Cadata or the Undulata. So very, very nice. Ooh, this is another one that I really was excited to get. Again, very flimsy. Um, this one's probably going to be another one that is a heavy drinker. So this is the Hoya Chicken Farm. This has very gorgeous, beautiful leaves that have a little bit of splash in them and stuff. Um, very pretty. This one does sun stress if given enough light. So I am excited to kind of get it in my Ikea cabinet and see what happens. But again, another very gorgeous plant. Let's see. Ooh. This is the Hoya AH030. As you can see, this one I have is a lighter green with those dark venations running through them. I also think these leaves can darken up, like get a darker green, if I'm not mistaken. But it has a nice, beautiful, active tendril, which is fantastic. 
this leaf is actually pretty long. And again, with those kind of elongated leaves, I really love that, especially with those venations. It just kind of makes the whole leaf so dramatic looking and I really love the look of it. Moving on, we got another chicken farm, another medium cutting, again with the flimsy leaves, but um, they're still alive. They still look healthy. I really just think they need a drink and they'll be good to go. It just stinks because with when they get like this, you have to be super careful. And I see a stem breakage right here. So I'll definitely need to get that cut and propagated and stick that in some water so it can root and not die on me. Here we have some more large leaves this is one that i saw and really loved again some flimsy leaves we have a dried up one here um these are also thinner this is the hoya sp cast so the leaves get really big this one kind of reminds me of the i think it's called the golden eye or something like that uh, they look very similar at least from memory of the golden eye but I really loved this one when I saw it and that's one that I wanted. And when I came across this on this website, since I was ordering, I was like, definitely have to get this one because it is just so pretty, so beautiful and can get such large leaves. I think we're almost done here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, three counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so we have three more to go. We will go with this one because I've already showed you this one. I've already showed you two of these. Okay, so this is another AH030. You can see the leaves get a little darker. The others were like this, and it definitely is a little darker. But again, another beautiful cutting. We have another one of the AH0734. And this has a super long, super skinny elongated leaf. I really love that this leaf specifically has a lot of that splash on it. So pretty. And then last but not least, I have a Hoya Wilbur Graves. So this one has very minimal splash. If you saw one of my other unboxings, I had gotten a extremely splashy Wilbur, Wilbur Graves. They do specify on their site though that this one does not have a lot of splash. They say Wilbur Graves, not splash. But it does definitely have some splash in there. And I definitely do think it is capable of getting some more because I believe they did say when I asked them about this plant that the mother plant is super splashy, but the cuttings that they've taken from it do not have a lot of splash. So I think this can have potential to get some of that nice splash back. If it doesn't, it's still a beautiful plant. It, it will give me something different than my other Wilbur Graves. Um, but if it does, I will also be very super happy. It has a nice active tendril growing with some leaves I can see on the side and some aerial roots, which is always a great plus so those are the 12 hoyas i imported from ah hoyas definitely go and check them out as you can see they all came through very healthy i am very happy very pleased i didn't open all their roots but the roots that i did see were very good they were pretty established and i expect them all to be pretty in between the the one with all these roots and you know the one with just little little roots um so i expect them all to be somewhere in between those two thank you guys again for joining me in another unboxing another video i hope you enjoyed the hoyas you saw today think about adding some of them to your collection if you don't have them already they are all so gorgeous don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're interested in the content i provide and as always every plant's a princess bye